Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey for the first time, why don't you subscribe, become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. Here I review products you won't feel guilty buying and do looks you can actually recreate at home. Towards the end of last month, social media was a buzz because it was announced that Juvia's Place was now going to be sold at Ulta Beauty. Juvia's Place is an online brand that was most famous for its eyeshadows and Nikki Tutorials I feel like is one of the people that really kind of made it more mainstream on social media. But basically they had a ton of eyeshadow and face palettes that were ultra pigmented and at pretty fair prices. I hadn't tried any of their products out previously, but since they are now available online at Ulta Beauty, I figured it was time to try them out, share my thoughts, and keep them on my radar because again, like I said, they are gorgeous palettes from what I've seen in pictures and in videos and pretty good prices as well. Now they already have a pretty good selection of their products up on Ulta Beauty's website, but I have three palettes I want to share with you plus a liquid lipstick to test out as my first experience with Juvia's Place. So the first palette that I received from Ulta Beauty is the Warrior by Juvia's palette. Now, can we just appreciate this gorgeous artwork? They have this type of artwork on all their products and it's just really beautiful. So the Warrior palette is a little bit more neutral, but you have these beautiful pops of gold and champagne and bronze with these really, really pigmented molten shadows. And because these are larger shadow pans, this can definitely double as a face palette or just a multi-use palette. And I'll show you what I mean by that a little bit later. The second palette, which I'm going to be using on my eyes mostly today, is the Magic Mini by Juvia's palette. Love this artwork as well. So just gorgeous. Can I be this one? I want to be this one. And here's what the inside looks like. Definitely more colorful and bright, though we do have some neutrals in here that help balance it out and kind of give you um, enough to create an entire look with just this palette. And what I very much appreciate is that we do have a good balance of mattes and shimmers. You know I am obsessed with balance in palettes. There needs to be enough of matte and shimmer to really create that dimension, so I really appreciated that. Third palette that I received from Ulta Beauty is the Saharan Blush Palette volume two and this one has these really beautiful blush shades in it plus um, kind of like a pale pink highlight shade. This one is a little bit on the brown like warm side. I think this could be more used as a bronzer but yes yeah, so this is kind of like your all-in-one face palette. And then the liquid lipstick that I am wearing right now is the Juvia's Place Festival liquid lipstick in the shade Soil. So really quick before we kind of rewind before I created this look and share with you my very first experience applying these shades, I just want to tell you, spoiler alert, they're awesome. Um, these palettes range from $18 to $25, and the quality is just something that I've really never seen before, especially with some of these satin shades. I'm just gonna go into the Warrior palette really quickly because this is the one that I use the least in this tutorial, but it definitely deserves attention. Check out this shade called Bakwa. It is this beautiful gold, and when you swatch it, it's literally like melted gold. And here's a shade that I use in this tutorial called Moremi, which is this really pretty neutral kind of shampoo pain shade. And again, you just get such high intensity color and the texture of these shadows are a dream. They are so smooth, they blend incredibly easily, and they're just really soft and pleasant to apply. Now I have swatched all of these palettes in full every shade on my blog and I will leave the link below just for sake of time. I'm going to jump into the makeup look that I actually created with these palettes. So today I'm going to be using all of these products to create this makeup look. Definitely got some purple going on, you know, to match the hair, but then we've accented with some orange just for a pop and something a little bit unexpected. So if you want to see my very first experience trying out these Juvia's Place products to create this look, just keep watching. All right, so I'm priming my eye with just the Revlon Color Stay Eyeshadow Primer. So for the eyes, I'm mostly gonna be using the Magic Mini by Juvia's palette. This one is incredibly colorful and bright, and I've just been inspired to use more color in my eyeshadow. So um, I wanna work with this one and create something a little bit bold. But first, to set my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using Kezi, which is this off-white kind of eggshell shade. I will say I absolutely love and appreciate the artwork on these palettes. They are so gorgeous, but but I would love a mirror inside. That would be, that would just make these palettes top notch. Okay, so I'm just gonna be patting Kezi all over the lid, up to the brow bone area as well, and that'll help dry down the primer and help us blend a little bit later. Okay, like I said, I wanna go colorful and bold today, so I'm gonna be taking Zakia, which is kind of this burnt orange, definitely on the brighter side, um, and I'm gonna actually use that as my transition and just lightly dust it 
in and above my crease. Gotta be careful because these are incredibly pigmented shadows. So you don't wanna just like go all in and swipe with a heavy hand. You definitely wanna build up, especially if you want to blend out easily and kinda get that diffused look. For my crease, I'm going into the shade called Ife. I think that's how you say it, I-F-E. It's this beautiful deep violet shade. That's gonna go in my outer corner and in the crease. And I'm gonna be cutting this crease, so I do wanna bring this a little bit outside of my natural crease so it's a little bit higher. And the trick here to really maintain that pigmentation, especially towards the outside, is to apply with a patting motion and then start sweeping it into the crease. I'm just working in really small strokes so that you're not dispersing the pigment too far. I'm just gonna bring a little bit of that Zakia orange shade back and help blend the purple into it by going over the edges with that orange. Since they are two very different colors, you just wanna be gentle while blending. And luckily, I'm not seeing any muddiness. Like, they do seem to be blending pretty well together, despite them being, like, totally different. All right, cutting the crease with the Physician's Formula Instaready Full Coverage Concealer. I had a subscriber actually recommend to me because the pump on this is so ridiculous that it pumps out just way too much product because this is so full coverage. She told me to unscrew it and then just kind of take the concealer from the inside so I can really be more controlled with it. So thank you for suggesting that because that was incredibly smart. Just realized it'd probably help if I zoomed a little bit in. And I like to pat down the concealer just to kind of pick up any excess that could fall in the lines of the lid. For the lid shade just right over that concealer, I'm going into Faso, which is this beautiful lavender, kind of shifty shade. It's got kind of like a blue lavender shift, so let's pack that on. Do you see that shift? It's so gorgeous. And this is the brush that I prefer for packing on like these types of metallic shades. This is the Sigma E20 brush and it's just a really dense flat brush. So it picks up a lot of the pigment and lays it down without like dusting it around. And you can get 10% off with my code. I'll leave it down below. So pretty. Okay, so let's blend these together now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the outer corner color on a blending brush and just move it in a little bit over that line where the concealer and the lid shade starts. And just kind of go back and forth, making it less harsh. Okay, now I want to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone, and for this I am actually gonna switch palettes just so we have a little bit of variety. This is the Warrior by Juvia's palette, and this one is definitely more gold and neutral leaning, and Moremi is one of the most beautiful highlight shades I've ever seen in my life, so that's what we're gonna use today. So I'm gonna throw this right under the brow bone. and in the inner corner. I'm just gonna overlap that a little bit with the purple in the inner corner, but not go too far into the lid shade. Okay, so we're gonna put that palette away, but we're gonna come back to it a little bit later. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line my upper lash line with the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil. It is waterproof. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the edges of my eyeshadow. I probably should have put a shadow shield down, but I forgot, so me. But here's a little hack that I've mentioned before. If you forget to put a shadow shield down and you want that like crisp um, edge to your eyeliner, just take a little bit of a makeup wipe, wrap it around your finger and gently run it under your eyeshadow. And I basically use like my finger nail underneath this to get that sharp edge. And it doesn't take off a lot of my foundation, which I do already have on because it's literally a fingernail's width. All right, cool. That leaves us prepared to add the winged liner. Can you guess what I'm using? Because I use it in every single video because it is just my absolute favorite eyeliner. It is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Probably time for me to buy a new tube. I don't know how long I've been working with this one. Eh. And so basically with the winged liner, we are following that sharp outline we just created. 
See that? <sighs> That's my reaction when I know my wings aren't gonna turn out even and I'm gonna have to go back and fix it. All right, I think I did it. Actually, I evened out my eyeliner and it all turned out okay. I held my breath there for a long time trying to even out my eyeliner. I don't quite feel like doing falsies today, so I am just going to do the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. I like using this mascara to give me a little bit of like a false lash or lash extension effect without the trouble of actually putting on lashes because this is an incredible mascara. It's just definitely a little heavy for everyday wear. All right, zooming back out to finish the rest of the face, I'm using the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Palette in Matte to Contour. And I like to mix these two shades together. One's clearly on the warmer side, one's cool, and together they make a nice neutral contour. For blush, I'm gonna be using another palette from Juvia's Place that's available at Ulta Beauty now, and that is the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 2. Now, these blush shades, I would say, are definitely more catered to medium to deep skin tones. They are on the deeper side, and they are very pigmented. The shimmery pink in here though can be used as a highlight across most skin tones I would say it's very pretty. Since we did use a little bit of orange in the eye look I do want to use the more orange blush and kind of you know tie it all together So this is the shade Tau and it is on the more orange side and again gonna be just dusting this on so lightly so we don't get too much pigment. I don't want to end up looking like a clown. So I'm just dusting that on and I can already see the shade. Now instead of using the highlight that was in the Saharan blush palette, I want to go back into the warrior palette because with these shadows having the larger size pans, they can definitely be multi-purpose. I mean, this deep brown can be used as a liner or for the brows and a lot of these shimmery shades or the satin shades can definitely be used as face highlights. So I'm going to go back into Moremi, which is the same highlight that we used around the eyes and put that on my cheekbones. And I am going to use like an eyeshadow brush for this since it is an eyeshadow, um, I want to be able to really pick it up and apply it really well. So that just goes to show that the palettes with the larger pans can definitely be versatile. And to top off the look, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Festival Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soil, which is kind of like a red-orange shade, which is the theme of the accents of this look. Ooh, that's pigmented. Ooh. I feel like Manny MUA right now, so pigmented. Oh my god, this is like the smoothest liquid lipstick I've ever applied. I don't think I can even explain to you what putting on this liquid lipstick feels like. It's so smooth and buttery, it just like coats the lips. It feels so good. So that's the finished look with the Juvia's Place products that I currently have from Ulta Beauty. Um, all of these products just kind of blew me away. I mean, I had an idea of what to expect from watching other YouTubers use these products and, you know, seeing swatches on Instagram but I think it's just a different experience actually applying it to your skin, applying it to your eye and your lips to see and to feel the quality considering that these are pretty affordable products for what you're getting. These palettes range from $18 to $25 which is a steal because they really are great quality and you're getting a pretty decent amount of product. I mean I love these huge pans inside the Warrior palette because it does make it a little bit more versatile and this liquid lipstick man, $12 and it feels better than anything I've ever put on my lips before. <laughs> Even as it's drying down, it doesn't feel like it's tightening on my lips. It just, it's just like my second lip. <laughs> so I'm really excited to keep this brand on my radar. Now that it's a little bit more available to you all on the Ulta Beauty website, I will leave links to everything here down below in the description. If you like this video and you wanna see more from Juvia's Place, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. If you've done that, high five, but have you hit the bell icon so you know every time a new video goes live? If you don't do that, YouTube will decide what videos you watch, not you. I'll see you in my next one, bye. Wow.